Okay, so we are back with M with an E, episode three. I think for the foreseeable future, I'm gonna continue. Again, like, I don't know that I've decided long term. I can't promise that I'm gonna do the entire show on my channel, I guess. But again, like, just hearing comments and, you know, people being like, oh yeah, no, I want to see this, uh, or being like, period, is enough for me to be like, okay, period, I'll do it. <laughs> Even if it's not gaining, like, the most traction at the moment. But there was also someone who made a good point about like gaining traction over time. So hopefully it'll do that. But as of right now, I'm definitely gonna continue doing it. But again, that's only because of like people's comments and their interaction and engagement, the people that are watching and are liking it. So if you like these, please continue to feel free to say so. You know what I mean? <laughs> feel free to let me know. Cause that's what's making me go, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, I see. Okay, so we have um, episode three. This is my little look today. This is, I mean, this pattern is like a, I don't even know what this is, but it just gave me old tiny vibes a little bit. This is my braid hairstyle for the day. And yeah, let's get into episode three. I'm excited because I do want to keep watching this. And I also, I think this might be the, the genesis of Gilbert, which I'm very interested to see. So let's get into it. We're doing first day of school, I believe. I'm terrified for her. Also, like, I just know she's gonna get bullied, and like, as someone that got bullied, this is just, this show is triggering, I can't lie. I don't know. I just love to torture myself, I guess, because I'm living. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> That's a bad omen. Please let that not be I love her optimism, but I am also, like... <sighs> well, I'm not so worried about my brain. I believe it to be a fairly good work. <laughs> fairly good. I don't think that's where you're, yeah, that's not where you're going to be having issues. My overriding concern? I'm sure you'll tell us soon enough. <laughs> For real. This is the bane of my existence. You are the bane of my existence. And the object of all my desires. Sorry, that, I mean, that phrase is just forever changed. You'll do just fine at school if you stop your yammering and fortify your- <laughs> That's actually pretty good advice. Mm, they're such parents. They're happy, they're proud, they're also concerned. You oh, man. Oh, I agree. I believe it to be the most beautiful place on and the earth. And please. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, period. Express yourself, be yourself. Oh, this whole thing. But, oh my god, I'm scared for you. Oh, <laughs> oh man, please. Oh. <laughs> Talk about sticking out like a sore thumb. Hello, Diana. My, what have you done to your hat? Well, I wanted to make a good first impression, and it was so plain. <laughs> You're making an impression, yeah. alright. <laughs> I'm glad your hat and sweater here. Okay, good, good. You can oh, it. thank you, Diana. Thank you. You're a godsend. He's dreamy, but he won't be here today. How long will you deprive me? Show. You're lucky I already know it's coming. Anne loves to read, and she knows ever so many big words. Does she use them all in every sentence? <laughs> That's terrible, but she kind of got it. No, you don't. I'm sorry, it's, a, it's an observation, it's correct. Why did they make you wear that old lady dress? Okay, now she's pissed me off. It's nice to have something new. If you're an orphan, I suppose I wouldn't be caught dead in it. Anne isn't an orphan anymore. You're ridiculous. Hey, look! It's a talking dog. <laughs> Can you fetch two? Billy. He's never let the boys are kind of like cute. I don't I don't know how Gilbert's the like dreamy one. For like their age. Like, if I was- <laughs> If I was this age, and this is my grade, I would be like, Not a bad crop. Oh, that one girl is giving me so, so many flashbacks. Tramma. The way that there was a whole ass click, the 13, at my little private middle school. Whew. 
Now that you're mother to a young girl, we're wondering if you'd like to attend our meeting. That's really sweet. Oh. We should warn you that our viewpoints are forward thinking. We believe that a woman's education <gasps> is just as important as a How mother. could she? Since you're Anne is part of our community now and and you'll be raising her. I, w I was worried though. I was like, what? <laughs> what does progressive mean to these women? Would you bring Anne? Hopefully your apple's already sliced for sharing. Apple, I, I, come on, I'll show you the rest. I was just supposed to know all of this! What kind of sums are those? Long division, of course. Long division? So easy, right? Oh, I would be so fucked. I would be so unbelievably fucked. They said, fuck y'all with anxiety. Fuck y'all with learning disability. Chrissy Andrews and the teacher. Mr. Phillips. Are they married? Uh, of course not. She's a student and he's old. Ew! They must be making a baby. <laughs> what? Well, if they're touching, that means they're having intimate relations. Really? <laughs> it seems to me a lot of husbands have a pet mouse. So I expect Mr. Phillips has one too in his front pants pocket. I expect Percy Andrews has made its acquaintance. And Mrs. Hammond, she's a lady I used to work for. She said she always had twins after she pet Mr. Hammond's mouse. <laughs> the woman was too stunned to speak. I don't... I don't know whether to laugh, to scream, to cringe, to cry, to dry heave. I mean, tale as old as time, I guess. We just can't fucking escape fucking gross ass predators preying on children in any time period. Spell dreadful, like your handwriting. Girl. This man is. It has an A in it right after the E, but the A is silent. As you should be. You're the um, orphan, yes? Did I call on you? No. Then sit down. I can't watch. This teacher is nasty. He's a nasty, evil little rat of a man. You don't really think she touched it, do you? His pet mouse? Mm. <laughs> See that, you guys? I won't eat next to dirty trash. Come on, girls, before we all become tarnished. Navigating the social landscape. Diana. This is why we must strive to improve the curriculum for our girls. Especially for those who are unlikely to marry. No, at our last meeting we were discussing mm -hmm. the curriculum and perhaps compiling a list. Some issues with herself not being married, probably. Diana's a sweetheart. A progressive mother. Still a bit surprised about the mother part myself. Well, don't <laughs> ask me for my advice. I know, the progressive part she hasn't even started done back. Next should be telling me you all bring your corsets and dance naked at town hall. We ran out of time. <laughs> I reckon every new idea was modern once, until it wasn't. Period. His mind, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not sorry I went to that meeting. And if it did serve to point out everything that I don't know. <laughs> I feel I need to expand my thinking if I'm going to do right by Anne. That girl is not a usual person. <sighs> the Cuthberts. Well, at least we can agree on that. Me and the Cuthberts vibe like that. You know what I mean? We're just so... I'm just right there with them. Keep me posted about the next meeting. Oh. If you like. Oh, 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 oh. Anne's influence, Anne's impact. We love to see it. We love to see her helping them and them helping her. Oh! It must be like backwards multiplication. Can't be that hard to figure out. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know, girl. You don't strike me as the STEM type, personally. And as a not STEM girly, uh, you know, I don't think it's that easy. Especially also, like, teaching yourself math concept. Like, how could you. I don't even. My brain can't even comprehend how you could teach yourself long division. Like, if nobody had ever explained it to you, or... Today will be better. It's like, what, like... You're not gonna always be my friend, won't you? You bet. <laughs> I'm so flattered. You should eavesdrop, Jerry. You what? 
Okay, I got through one little antagonistic interaction. Done for the episode. <laughs> I need more Jerry. I love Jerry. Anne of Green Gables. Is Gilbert gonna save her? Yeah. Well, yes. You wanna get slandered? Sorry, I truly meant no harm. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna teach a lesson, Fido. You're a bad dog. Bad dog. Hey, Billy. Classic. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Hey, Gilbert. <sighs> I'd love to see it. These uh, woods are giving me a uh, Kate and Anthony first meeting, yeah. but... I was just about to get going. Period. 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 You're welcome. <laughs> I mean... Need anything else? Any dragons around here need slaying? No, thank you. Hey, who are you? You'll learn soon enough. This is actually very Kate and Anthony first meeting. Here. Here, allow me. <laughs> Bless him. Why are you walking with that orphan girl? Why not? She's Karen. a loon. Says you. Hope you didn't get any asylum cooties. I don't care where she's from. A cute girl is a cute girl. Gilbert! There, there. That nasty girl didn't know any better. Just like yesterday, with all your tall tales. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk with him. It just happened. God, I am putting like my I jokes up. I'll have nothing to do with him. Ugh! I'm actually shocked by Gilbert, like, finding her attractive. I, I don't, I guess I just did not think that was going to happen, at least at first. I've been wondering when the next meeting is. Well, actually, Miss Cuthbert. Oh, oh no, Anne's. Everyone does. Actions. Page 32. Oh my god, are we getting a he fell first? New girl. Up. Continue. This she can do. Oh, oh no. the wild oh, no. waters oh, no. laboring oh, no. far and, and, and. from home. Were some bleak pittance air compelled to roam. A few hearts to cheer him through his dangerous life. A companion <laughs> of the sea and silent air. The long season while. This episode is wearing me out and wearing me down. And oh, is it because she's like the town gossip? She knows. Yeah. Smart. That's a good move, I, Matthew. I know though. I cannot bear to think of us feeling such filth. It worries me. Girl. What a disgrace! I feel worried for Han. Heard Matthew. Matthew Cuthbert, I don't understand you. I don't know. It's all. called empathy, Marilla. That child is a child. Period. Period, Matthew. Balance me up. A girl of her tender age, she ought to know such things. No, because right, I was thinking. I was like, we're gonna get through this episode without me tearing up, without me crying, girl. You're so correct, Matthew! Oh! Oh, I love him so much! Has there ever been a better character ever? Oh! Oh, God! Marilla, too. She just needs to, you know, see things right in the correct way. You didn't do Adam Lee any favors bringing that trollop into our midst i beg your pardon i think you heard me plain well here's this can't hold against her what she's seen or been exposed to period that's not her fault period marilla has endured more than any of us can know or period <sighs> it's a shame progressive parenting it doesn't seem to include compassion <laughs> but perhaps you'll muster some up in church on sunday yes and thank the good lord that Yes. Anna's finally found safe haven. Watch your fucking mouth, bitch. Ugh. I'm so happy with this turn of events. <laughs> I'm so happy. This will be a bonding experience for the Cuthberts, at least. I bet she does very well at school. Jerry. Does Jerry go to school? Jerry deserves to go to school. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna be crying about fucking Jerry. 
God, I'm probably gonna cry over Gilbert too. Shit. I am absolutely shook to the core that Gilbert is pursuing her like this. Just any interest in her. Like, I really just thought it would be that she was, like, desperately in love with him and then he didn't like her until, you know, years later. I'm not talking to you! That we do not tolerate such displays of temper here in a civilized society. It was my fault. You know what? Period. Sir, I, um, I, I teased her. Quiet oh, I love you for trying, though. To your yeah, you know what we also don't tolerate in civilized society? Uh, pedophilia. Predatory inclination toward children. I'd say that's a, that's a little worse than a bad temper. <laughs> oh my god, she needs therapy so bad. You know, one thing I can be grateful for in the modern day is therapy. And changing attitudes toward therapy and access to therapy. There, there, child. I really I thought I was going to get through this episode. I know just how you feel. You've been judged harshly. Their impact, their influence, his influence on her, her influence on Anne, <laughs> Anne's influence on them. Oh my god. Okay, so I love that episode. A lot of that was not surprising. I definitely expected her to have a really difficult time in the social scene. And that she did. That she did. I didn't expect some of the particular elements, you know, like the kind of knowledge of... Although, you know... <laughs> Her knowledge of sex is literally like there's a there, there's a mouse that you have to pet. So, you know, she's not really that knowledgeable, but in comparison to all the guarded and shielded other kids, you know, her knowledge of worldlier, more, I guess, inappropriate topics, which is absolutely something that happens when you live the type of life that she lives. And I know from firsthand experience, because I had a similar thing happen where, you know, I was exposed to a lot more experiences and knowledge about the world and things that I shouldn't have known, shouldn't have been made aware of. And it wasn't my fault, but as a kid, you know, you don't know that, you don't know any better. So you might go and like repeat things to people and then you're the pariah for it. And then you're the crazy person and then you're the freak and then you're the, you know, all these things. And of course people never place the judgment on like, I don't know, adults. It always goes to literal children, which is just so crazy. Especially because it's usually other adults putting the blame on children. Like, mostly. It's like, think. Think a little bit. Just think, just think a tiny bit. You know what I mean? Just, like, use your noggin. Just a little bit. Um, so that was a very interesting element. And again, so did not expect to be relating to this. That specifically, that's for sure. Sucks to, uh, I don't know, have been abused your entire life. <laughs> it, it's just one of those things that just keeps coming back to my you. <laughs> It just keeps coming back. It's a never-ending fucking thing, dude. It makes your life hard for the rest of your fucking life. Even when you are safe. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Relatable. Hate to see it. That, yeah, this episode was very cringy. There's a lot that I could very much relate to her on, and then a lot that I was like... <laughs> Like, my own brain, I'm like, if I was in that classroom, I would just be cringing so hard. Like, I wouldn't be mean to her, but I would just be like, uh, 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 oh my god. I love Matthew's mind. I mean, has there ever been such an emotionally intelligent man in history? I don't know. I don't know. He's getting up there for some of the best fathers in cinema. You know what I mean? We got Jack Pearson up there. Well, there's a lot of bad fathers in cinema, too. We won't get into that. Anyway. So, yeah, his understanding of Anne and his empathy toward her, he's j his, it's just his mind. His mind. He's everything. Loki, so is Gilbert. He's a very different character than I had, like, envisioned or imagined. Because the thing, I like, I hadn't, I've never seen any scenes of him or of them. Like, I've seen pictures of them together and gifts and whatever. But, like, I, you know, I don't know the dynamic. I really was surprised by him taking a liking towards her. 
like if anything i thought it would be a, the kind of thing where he doesn't she's kind of invisible to him like he might defend her or like stick up for her but that's just because he's like a good guy and he has the influence because he's like the most popular one so he's just like don't don't pick on her um and that's like the extent of it that's like where she enters and leaves his mind and then she like falls in love with him so i'm i'm very interested to see where that dynamic goes since it is very different than the one that i had originally expected but it's very interesting i like it it's very interesting he he's very interesting he seems like a very kind of complex character as well diane is a sweetheart she's also in a tough position you know oh marilla marilla's in a tough position too and i really like that like you know, she came around really quickly. And especially once she kind of heard the judgment from another person and like another person's perspective, she realized how like hypocritical it was. Okay, well, I think my thing just turned off, but basically great episode, loved it. Can't wait to continue. Can't wait to see where all the storyline goes. The Cuthbert family, those are my family. Those are my parents. That's my little, that's my daughter. You know what I mean? That's my sister, that's me. The Cuthberts just are everything to me. The, that teacher deserves to rot in fucking hell. Ugh! So many cringe moments. So many uncomfortable moments. Very intentional. They're doing it masterfully. Love to see it. Can't wait to keep going. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever. And then I will see you for the next episode. Bye!